Hello everybody, this is Beth Rist. I'm with Barbara Massey here at Sherman Thompson Towers. And Barbara contacted me today over an issue uh, that's going on here. Would you like to go ahead and explain, honey? Okay. Um, first of all, I've been here almost two years. Being March will be two years next month. And we have not had locked doors for more than six months. I'm sure. I would say that's just about accurate of those two years. And this is supposed to be a secure living, assisted living um, facility, yes. Facility, and it, it's not secure. Um, at one point, our fire alarms did not work. The firemen came. I, I was going out as they were coming in, and I thought they were just checking, you know, something. Um, and then they come out, I was still outside, and he asked me, did you hear the alarms go off? I said, no alarms went off. So we did have a fire, but we no one got warned. Nobody was out. Oh, wow. Just me and another person, and we just happened to be going out. Did you smell smoke? Or? I didn't smell the smoke. It was on the floor above me. So, um... <clears throat> But they didn't tell you there was a fire when they came No. Out. Well, probably not to Well, this, they, they, they did. They you. told me there was fire. Oh, okay. They said, well, they, you know, y'all have had a fire. Mm -hmm. And they told me what floor. And it was just, just above me, but I didn't sense anything. But, okay. Uh, I definitely didn't hear a fire alarm. Okay, but the issue now is that the doors have not been... Usually you have somebody from your family that's coming to visit has mm -hmm. to buzz in and you you buzz in, you let them in. Correct. So now yeah. people are just, anybody can walk in and out for the last six months. Now these, we have intercom in here so that we could talk with them, see who it is yeah. before we let them in. Okay. But that, it doesn't work. It's all static. Okay. Do you have intercom that you can call the main office down there? Can you push it back? No, I can't call the main office. Uh, how do you get I have to call them on the phone. Okay. And what time do they leave, honey? What, oh, what, gosh. Uh, do you know their hours? Are they here every day for through the week? They're here every day, as long as it's not a holiday or something like that. But they don't see anyone on Wednesdays unless they want you. Okay. You can't come there. It's locked. And the paper's in the windows. You can't see in. Okay. Um, Friday, say, you should leave early. Uh, sometimes I just leave early. Yeah. Whenever. Well. A lot of times I come down and there's nobody in the office. But originally, um, I don't know, you said that um, now uh, the Community Action Organization is not over Sherman Thompson Towers now, oh, right? No, ma'am. It's a Millennia Housing Management. Yes. And that is based in Cleveland, you Cleveland. said? Mm -hmm. And is, you said, I thought you well, said. Well, our representative, uh, it's in Cleveland. Okay. Now, I'm not real sure where the overall corporation, corporation mm -hmm. is because they're, they're dealing with Section 8, mm -hmm. uh, HUD, and, you know, just low income. Mm -hmm. But before you moved here, did they, they tell you that it was a secure building and then that's... Okay. They advertised that. Do you, did you sign a lease or how's that work? I signed a year lease and what they do is you don't get a new lease. You should keep the same lease year after year after year. They don't change the lease. You just re-sign. Okay. Each year. So okay. that you're... So nothing changes in the lease? No. Okay. It hasn't since I've been. And uh, does the lease say that you're, uh, you're safe and... and uh, Secure premises, it, you know, you're not, you can't be drinking on the outside of the premises. You right. can't have firearms out there. Right. And, uh, things like that, and, and that is immediate eviction, you know. Okay. Um, but it doesn't say anything about, well, if your security goes out, we'll notify you and you can take precautions until we get it fixed because it doesn't get fixed. The elevator goes out all the time. Now, I, you know, that you, I'm sure you're aware of the other, uh, <clears throat> there's other two high rises that have issues with, had issues with the elevator. Mm -hmm. Have you all had issues here with that? Yeah. yeah. Recently or? Yeah. 
recently. We just got it running probably <clears throat> three weeks ago. Okay, but, and what do they tell you? I mean, do... They don't tell us anything. So what do you do if the elevator no. just... You don't go in the elevator, do you? Or they do... Not the one that's broken. Okay. No. Do they have a sign up, up there? They put a sign on it. Okay. Uh, sometimes. No, sometimes there's no sign. It's just a blinking number on the the little uh, digital okay. thing there. It tells you what floor it's on. Um, people get stuck in it often. Oh, I don't no, leave I know. My, I don't leave out that door without my cell phone. Yeah. Because I have to use that elevator. I want to be able to call somebody because that phone, I don't know if it works or if in the elevator. Um, I'm not trusting it because a lot of things don't work. My microwave don't work. Uh, I, I, rented the, <coughs> I rented this place uh, with the promise of a microwave being furnished. Mm -hmm. uh, that's why I got rid of my stuff because I couldn't bring it here. Um, don't they have a maintenance man still? I used to know the maintenance man that worked Robert, here. Robert, I don't know. Robert Nance? I'm not sure if that's just like the little short guy with glasses and a beard. Yeah, I, don't, I didn't. I thought he moved away, but he's a good guy. He um, is a nice guy. I mm -hmm. talked to him. Uh, I, if I really need something, he, you know, he does what he can. Yeah. But he told me that they're not. They have no microwaves, and they have. How long have you been without a microwave, huh? Probably six, seven months, six months at least. So you have. I've got a small one over there, but as you see it there, it takes up all my counter space. Yeah. And I can't, you know, maneuver in there very well with cooking and yeah. You know, stuff. Well, um, do you have a copy of your lease? I do. Okay. I'd like to see it before after we're finished, okay. if you don't care, and. Uh, but no, so now uh, you have strangers knocking on your door? Yes, I do. Uh, I have people that would come and ring my buzzer downstairs. Mm -hmm. But the not talk to you, them. You know, okay. I don't know who that is. So you didn't push the button and let them in? People, yeah, only people that come to visit me, I have one best friend. She comes every now and then. I have a boyfriend comes every now and then. Mm -hmm. This is not an everyday visit, or even sometimes not even a weekly visit. Mm -hmm. My children, they're all busy, and my son went to River Falls. He can't travel, you know. He's, I wouldn't expect him to walk to come see me. But, um, so I don't have a lot of visitors. So if someone rings my buzzer, I assume it's one of my children or the friends. Uh, I've hit that button to let people open that door nobody comes to my door so they're in the building somewhere but I don't know where right but at. you're thinking because it's your buzzer that is somebody coming to see you yeah and who knows they may be they could be anybody they could be and a rapist they could be a murderer they could just be someone high or neck you know mm -hmm. have you and who do you call who have you called to tell them about it besides the office I've been to the office okay and I have called Melina the Cleveland number. Mm -hmm. Actually, I called them all, and I couldn't get anybody but uh, the Micah Smith at uh, the Cleveland number. And I explained to her what was going on uh, about the buzzers and about we couldn't communicate with anybody down there. Nothing got done. It's Did they give you a time limit or when they was going to come and maybe fix it or? I don't know. Okay. That's, that's the answer. I don't know. Excuse me. And, um, I'll shrug of the shoulder. So I told you to, uh, I advised you when you contacted me to, to go ahead and uh, call the police department. Yeah. And uh, so you did call 911, right? I called 911 and they transferred me to the Lawrence County Sheriff's Department. Um, I talked with an officer there. Okay. And um, she told me there's, I asked her if I should file a report on that. And because I didn't feel safe. Mm -hmm. This man came to my door. I heard, I didn't hear him out there. I didn't know who was up there. I was sitting right here mm -hmm. doing some mail stuff, making a list for groceries. I heard a noise, I thought it did. 
and I kind of rubbed it off. Thought it might have been my air conditioner. And I heard the noise again, the same noise. And I said, there's something going on. And I sat there a few seconds just to listen. And I heard the same noise. And I identified it then, it was keys at my door. Keys trying to go in my door. Well, I went over So there. somebody actually put a key in your door trying, trying to get in my door. Um, when, and when was this on? This was Monday morning about 9, 30, 10 o'clock. Okay, so you went to the door and looked out the, you have a little hole to look out? I have a big pole, yeah. Okay, and what did you see? I saw a large white male, about six foot, 300 pounds, with keys in his head. Did you scream anything through the door? No, I opened it. I jerked it open, and I said, can I help you? <laughs> He said, oh, he yeah, acted so like he was confused, and he tried to hide those keys. Okay. He said, you put them behind him. Uh, the man was at the door long enough to know, but become aware that he was not at the right door. Okay. If he even lives here. I've never seen him before. Okay. But anybody can walk in most doors. Mm-hmm. And... Well, I did talk with somebody downstairs, and they said that there, there was they saw somebody on the cameras that mm -hmm. that maybe had came to the wrong door that they thought maybe he had dementia or something like that. I'm not assuming that's him, mm -hmm. but I Does just does he live here? I don't, I don't, say? I don't know, I don't, I don't know. But they did say now. I guess they can see all the floors on the cameras. I don't yeah, know. They should be able to. Yeah, there's um, a camera right up at that hallway. There's one at the elevator. And there's one down at 15 too. Okay. So did you call down there when the guy after the guy what did, after after you opened I, the door? I was actually I was kind of getting over being sick and I didn't want to go to the office and make anybody sick. Right. So I waited another day. I didn't see anybody Tuesday. They were I'm, I just kept missing them, mm -hmm. you know. And then Wednesday morning. I came back home, and um, I had to go to the store to get cigarettes. I came back into the house here, and I saw the um, custodian mm -hmm. out there, and I asked her, I said, is anybody in the office? And she said, they're not here yet. I said, well, could I run something by you, and you can let them know as soon as they get in. Because, Your concerns, yes. Yes, I said, because it could cause someone to be in danger. And I told her what had happened uh, privately, and uh, she said she would relay the message, so I, I'm sure she did since you talked to them and they uh, acknowledged that. Okay. Um, so back to the man, did he just walk off once you... Okay, no, he acted like he was confused. Okay. He, he said, oh, I'm sorry, I'm at the wrong apartment. Okay. I said, well, I, that could have been an innocent thing, but you, it could have it's been. still, it's still uh, it could have been somebody that could have been capable of doing something else. Said, he's tried that door long enough. I figure he should know where he's at. Yeah, well. Unless he's got dementia. Yeah, well, that's, dementia, that's, 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 that's hard. That's hard. Right. And, and God love him, you know. Absolutely, because... You know, he may have just been confused, but mm -hmm. the point is anybody can come up here. That's not a good thing. i got to check my cornbread. Go ahead, honey. Check your cornbread. It's smelling good. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's done. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I came just in time, didn't I? Yes, you did. Beans and cornbread <laughs> on Valentine's Day. Hey. I ain't got an onion. I might have an onion in there I can cut up. I don't know how to put it in the beans. <laughs> So since you called, I, I'll just go ahead and talk to you while you're doing that. Since you called um, and left uh, and logged it in with the sheriff's office uh, before I got here, has anybody came to your door or called you back from the sheriff's office? No, no one's called me back from there or the office here at Sherman Thompson. Okay. Um, I hope that don't sell a fire alarm. <laughs> well, it does. The heat from that oven, when you open it, it goes straight back to the fire alarm. It does? It's usually every time I cook cornbread. Okay. Because it gets does so the, hot. Does the fire department come when it sets off the fire alarm? No, I don't think these trigger anything. Oh, They're okay. Just like smoke heat detectors. 
Oh, okay. Um, but if it gets too hot, yeah, these sprinklers should go off, but I don't think they work. Well, I don't think they work. Mine's, one of mine's broken, as a matter of fact. Well, we just wanted to, uh, I just wanted to talk to you and, and thanks for calling me. And um, I did contact uh, several of uh, people with me uh, contacted at Channel 3 mm -hmm. uh, because they were so good to come here and about the other high rise that, but yeah. that does raise a concern when anybody can just walk in here and yeah. people are disabled or, I mean, you seem to get around good, but I'm just I saying there's okay, a lot of people. But there's times that I, I get to that door and I'm ready to drop. Yeah. But you, you are afraid to go to the door room. I don't want Like to. you asked me, who yeah, is it, I, you know? I, I put something up against my door in case if someone happens to get it open, it will fall on the floor and bang. Okay. Because there's no other lock but that deadbolt. Well. And people who's moved out of here, I'm sure they had duplicates made, give them to their kids, give them to whoever, you know, right. somebody that needs to come and check on them, you know. Do they have, do you all have meetings? And I, I know uh, years ago, they, downstairs, across the hall. Every now and then. We don't use the blue room anymore. Okay, why is that? Um, they had a dance, and somebody danced inappropriate, and so, so there's no activities down there there's anymore? no activities. Okay. No. So I think on this one it says there is a meeting. We do have them periodically. And do they just update you on things that's going on here? I'm not sure. I never go to them. Okay. Um, I don't go to anything there. I never did. Um, I just don't like, I'm, I'm a private person. All right. And if you say something, or even if you don't say something, they'll make something up. Right. It, it's a lot of talk goes on around here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I just remain uh, neutral and... Kind of keep to yourself, yeah, that's... Yeah. <laughs> if I so, come out of here, I'm leaving the premises. <laughs> there you go. So you, uh, so you drive and stuff? I do, I drive. Oh, great. Uh, How old are you, honey? Is, I'm 65. Wow, okay. Uh, my truck right now, I need ball joints on both front tires, and it's going to mm. cost me. Oh, wow. If I have a mechanic in a, you know, garage do it like that, he's key way, they want $700. Yeah. Well, I, I got some friends that I can hook you up with that yeah. can help I'm like, I'm, I'm looking, uh, I got one person I'm going to go and see today is my best friend's uh, okay. fella. Okay. And um, they... She did the work on her car. She says, you tell him I'll do the work if he'll just guide me through <laughs> Yes, I understand that. So, well, what we're going to do is we're going to try to make some calls here and um, see what we can do to get this the door fixed. Now, uh, I did talk to them downstairs, and, and you also advised me that the people that put the doors in are not in business anymore. I don't know. Okay. Um, I think the young lady downstairs I, told me yeah. that. And, and they were concerned, too. When I yeah. talked to them, they were concerned, too. But... You know, yeah. I don't know how much control they actually have here. Right. Uh, with the way things have stayed broken, it doesn't look like they have much. I mean, and if they do and they're not exercising it, then check right. on them. Absolutely. Do you have a maintenance number right now that I could call? I do. Uh, what you do, you call the main number and you hit prompt three. Okay, let's try that. Uh, here is activities meeting 3 p.m. until we're finished. Uh, that's on, that was on the 7th of this month. Okay. At 3 o'clock. That you didn't go so you don't know what they're talking I about? I, usually when Kim Fogger was here, I'm sorry, that's our old manager. Mm -hmm. This lady is, she's not new. She's been here before, but she's new to me. Okay. Um, and I've not met her yet. But uh, I don't know how she conducts things, but Miss Potter was mm -hmm. a control freak. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So you probably can imagine how that went. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Uh, okay, so, well, listen, um, we are going to stay on top of this. And uh, thank you so much. And um, you've got my number. Yes. If you need anything, you know, I don't, it didn't take me long to get here, did it? 
No. And just sure in time for cornbread and beans. And uh, I can find jeans so. that fast and comb my hair. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Well, Barbara, thank you so much. Yeah. And uh, hopefully, uh, uh, the news will, uh, Channel 3, the young lady that came up here, um, they said that she's getting tons of calls uh, from other areas. Like, of uh -huh. course, they have Portsmouth, the high rise you there. Know, some of the people here are so afraid of getting put out that they have nowhere to go. I uh, know. So, like so they don't want to complain about I, anything. Yeah, I can't go live with my son with cerebral palsy. He's in housing. Mm -hmm. uh, I can't go live with my youngest son because he has, you know, a significant other and they've uh -huh. got their life. And so who are you supposed to call about replacing your microwave, honey? Uh, I've called the office and I've told them three times. So it, 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 I've told the maintenance man and he says... Did they tell you to unplug it? He came... And uh, the first time that my breaker flipped. So it blows the breaker in when you, button. okay. And it blew the fuse or something in the door out of my microwave. So that's a different door on that same microwave. Okay. And it does the same thing. I mean, I can get it to reset, but every time I turn it on, it clicks. Yeah. And, uh, well, that's not good. My neighbors does the same thing. So, um... Yeah, that's not good. So you don't need any apparatus like a breathing uh, uh, assistant. I have oxygen. Okay, you have oxygen. Okay. Um, okay, well, um, I'm going to try to get to the bottom of this, and um, I'll stop down there, and I'll make some calls. But thank you so much for calling me today. That's my pleasure. And, I, and, um, I know it's, it's scary, but it just uh, don't. If somebody knocks on your door, honey, don't open it. <laughs> well, I'm not open that door without finding out who it is. If they don't answer me at the second time, I just walk away. Yeah. Uh, so you just have the handle lock, you have a chain? That's it, nope. No chain? Okay. And we can't put one on. Right, because in case you a, a medical, they, they would have to come in to check yeah. on you, yes. But I think, uh, I think for security's sake, I think they should change those dead bolts every time someone moves out. I oh, know yes. that's expensive, but you know, a dead bolt's a dead bolt. Right. It's the cheap ones. Yes. You know, they go in there, as long as you're about that long, they ain't, nobody's going to get in there unless they take the door down. Yeah. Well, I'd like to see your lease and, and take a picture of it, if you don't mind. Oh, okay. okay, well, this is Beth Riz with Barbara Massey, and uh, thank you so much uh, for speaking out for everybody. Good we night. sure appreciate it. And uh, stay tuned, and I'll keep you updated. Right. Thank you so much.